Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, we are going to check out a custom ROM for Samsung S3. And I have reviewed uh, Samsung S3 stock ROM, which is based on Android 4.3. And on that ROM, it is running, the phone is running pretty well on that ROM, but uh, you will not get latest app or anything like that. Most of the application doesn't work anymore on Android 4.3. So I have installed a Pixel Experience custom ROM on this device based on Android 9. And specifically this, ROM is for Exynos variant only, which has one gig of RAM. And the ROM is working perfectly fine on this device, but as the device, uh, the specs is not really great, it is really slow, but the ROM is still working. So let's go and check out. First of all, um, as you can see UI, we don't have a lot of application here. We just uh, have few application. We don't have any kind of music player or anything like that. And this div this ROM is came coming with GFs, so you know it don't really need to any kind of flashing GFs here. So I have installed two application here, uh, safety net in YouTube just to check if it, like we can install application and anything, everything like that. And also we have a GCam here, which does work perfectly fine. So let me show you that. So our back camera is working just fine. And if I turn on the phone camera. It's also working just fine. So camera has no issue on this ROM, and the cam the the camera built-in camera is working perfectly fine. And if you go to the setting, so the device is pretty slow as you can see. And in the about section, Android nine and the security patch level is July five two thousand nineteen. So this ROM is actually specifically for those those people. Uh, who has only this device and this is their primary device but they want to install application the latest application they can go with this ROM but it's still not really recommended because it's pretty slow but I haven't found any kind of issue on this ROM going with other things so we have like we also see and the model number as you can see GTI 9300 so specifically for this variant this this ROM is and going the network Wi-Fi is working a phone call and other things work just perfectly fine also if you go with hotspot section we have 5 gigahertz band to share internet so that's also included and also bluetooth and everything is working as you can see bluetooth is on and going with other things like battery so battery on my device actually is not really great but still it's holding up pretty well i think the battery will be good on this rom and going with the display so adaptive brightness does work there is no issue with adaptive brightness and ambient display also there double tap to sleep so if it's working just fine and one thing which is not working good on this device is that you cannot work your device using home button so if your device is locked then you can't if you press home button it doesn't do anything so if you have a broken power button like me then you have to uh, use something to wake your device which is very frustrating for me because double tap to work also doesn't work on these devices and going with other things is that uh, if you are using the dark mode, usually the dark mode, default dark mode is beige dark. So you can do go to dark theme setting and you can turn on the black, black, and it will provide you the inky black, which is really great for this device because it is having an AMOLED panel. And also other things like color theme and other things you can change, which are Android 9 features. And also there are a few things going on here, which you can change. You can change the color setting of your display, color calibration. You can go with whatever you like, the way you like. You can do that. Also, you have night night light and other things. Sound is working perfectly fine. And if you go with the storage, we have 10.85 gig of free storage. This device is 16 gig storage model, so pretty good. And one more thing you should do when you install this device is that go to accessibility and remove all the animation. In that way, you will feel a little bit snappy. Otherwise, the ROM is pretty slow. And going with the system setting, there is not pretty much nothing going on that much. You can do few things here. And going with the status bar, we can um, swipe to a screenshot. The three finger swipe to a screenshot is working. You have to turn it on from there, and it's working just perfectly fine. Going with the buttons, uh, long press, torch active, there is nothing going on. Volume button, I work is there but not in not home version home button so it's not working there there is nothing we can do about that so going with other things like there is nothing pretty much the rom did not come with any kind of music player or anything like that just few application and most of them actually working perfectly fine there is no crashing or anything like that and you will feel sluggish and sometimes the, the device 
goes black out it's not really a rom problem it basically the device hardware issue because it can it's not capable of running android 9 that that much because of 1 gig of ram is not really great for android 9 going with the safety net it doesn't work so you cannot install any kind of bank apps on this rom so the safety net is failed actually so it takes time but it's failed i have tried it okay let it be yes it's failed now as you can see and going with the play store so if you install this rom at first the play store will not work give it time let it update the play store and google play service then the play store will work so as you can see and in my case the play store is working now it's a bit slow but it's working and all the latest application are there so if you want to install anything you just go over there and you can install it so let's try one thing i have already installed youtube here and youtube application is working but it's pretty slow but when you are in the video you will not uh, feel any issue with any application but anyway the issue is there it is slow so the application is in pending it should start downloading now also i have did one thing actually i had uh just in the developer mode there is option if you don't want any kind of background activity you can turn off the background activity in that way this device will run a bit snappier than usual default way so you should do that too if you don't want your device to be really slow as you can see it's pretty much slow and even in installing application also pretty slow but anyway it's downloading now so let it download and you can go and check out other things so if you go with uh, camera camera is working just perfectly fine we have nothing to do here even if you go to youtube the youtube will take time to load the page it takes time but still it's working perfectly fine so as you can see it take almost sometimes 30 seconds to open this this is the latest version of youtube so it does takes time even in the newer device also it takes some time it takes time but not this this, this long so maybe we can go with google uh, like uh, youtube go which will be a little bit lighter and snappier for this device but anyway uh, YouTube is working perfectly fine, but it takes time Yes Are it going to take one minute? could be that we have we have background activity like we are installing application because of that too yes the application is on now but as you can see it's pretty slow as you can see we can't even do anything now our device is frozen like but it works actually it doesn't matter that much if you're if you don't have any kind of background activity it will work perfectly fine but in slow slow mode very slow motion even you see okay we are in the device now so play store is still no it's not running on background it didn't run in background as you can see it didn't download the application so as i said i have turned off any kind of background activity on this device so that's all about this rom if you really want to install this rom i will put the link in the description below i will put the twrp and the rom link you can flash it directly from, you can download it and flash it on your device if you really want and i also have few more roms for this device based on android 5 android 6 and i will be reviewing those soon maybe those will be sweet point for this device actually rather than going with android 9 i will say going with android 6 or 7 will be much better so that's all about pixel experience rom for samsung s3 thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time